Coming from a uh, music faculty, faculty of music at UFD, I generally know stuff about like copyright and how it works and how the things that it uh, allows people or restricts people's use of material. So yeah, in a general level, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar, but... Uh, do you know what fair dealing is, or do you understand fair dealing? That was the yeah. general basis of it now. Okay, so um, as I was saying before, the fair dealing exception in the Copyright Act allows you to use other people's copyrighted material uh, for the purpose of research, private study, education, satire, parody, criticism, or news reporting, provided that what you do with the work is fair. Do you think that this um, is fair? Why or why not? As in so what like what yeah, Dork University it. did? Yeah, oh, essentially. Well, under that, it seemed fair to the educational purposes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think absolutely it should be allowed because we're not really trying to make any sort of revenue off of it. We're just using it for to like enhance our education and honestly just like get our degree. So, um, so do you think uh, that what York University did? Do you think that would be considered fair? So, okay, let me clarify. So yeah. they opted out of this... Uh, of paying to access copyright. Okay. And they still used it anyways. Yeah. Okay, so outside of um, whether it's okay to use material uh, from other sources or not, I think that if you have an agreement and then you opt out, then you have to respect your decision. So meaning that if you decide to uh, leave this agreement, right, then you should know that you shouldn't be okay with using the, the material anyways. Now, whether whether the material you're like, um, whether the material that you're using, like the person who posted that material is for educational purposes or not, that's another question. But mm -hmm. the fact that you opted out from this agreement and now you are still using it just because, yeah. of, because you want to, then I don't think, I don't think that's, um, okay in some sense. Uh, well, every teacher I guess in, at the youth, um, at, at Faculty of Music ends up providing the students with the material that he or she has uh, gathered out of their, their own research. Uh, meaning that we have to give people resources that we have uh, spent time and money to, to get together. And by resources, I mean like just uh, re research results or the results of our ethnography, or in cases, uh, recordings that we uh, ourselves have made. So here's, the, here's another point. In, in arguing that like publishers should allow us to use their resources, their material, I'm not saying that they're the only one because we also provide the students with the material that should be copyrighted for us, but as teachers, as instructors, we don't do that. We, we just offer students the material that we have, uh, we have uh, sort of uh, collected. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, we do things that we're expecting publishers to do as well. Thinking uh, And thinking about the resources and educational materials that you guys use, what would you expect from a public institution, uh, like a library, U of T, um, in terms of providing access to information. Just stuff that you can use without having to worry about it. Like if you go to a library, you should like assume that you can use it without being charged a lot of money. Um, have you ever encountered a situation where you've like tried to do research for an essay and you can't get access to a source that you need? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when doing... Like online, like science, like science papers. Yeah. But, like, usually like it says like your university's partnered with whoever publishes. Mm -hmm. Like if they're not, then it's hard to get that. Yeah, you only get like the first page or something. Yeah, or, like the, the abstract page. or something. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you guys like go through the measures of like trying to track it down elsewhere, or is it just? Oh, like, if it's like yeah. really, if it's like a really good argument, then yeah, like you try. But yeah. usually, like they are provided by the university. Like a lot of them, like the big ones are, but like small ones, I guess you have to try a little more. Yeah. But sure. Yeah, I've encountered it, but and I think that. Um, you know, if it's a private website, then I don't see a problem with it, right? It's a private. I don't. I don't think I have any, uh, you know, business with the private website. If they, just, they're a private website, they can do whatever they want. Um, if it's a 
you know, a public web, I don't know if there's private or public websites, but um, if, if, if it's a website run by a private company, let's say, I don't think they, they have the obligation to give me the information I want. But if it's a website that is run by, by, a, by a public institution, then I don't think they would usually do that.